When your house is on fire, these are the guys that you want to come out, and we want to make sure that they have the tools in their toolbox to be able to help you in your time of need. I'm Brian Enterline, the fire chief here in the city of Harrisburg, and uh, this weekend we're doing uh, training. This is our second year, and with our partnership with Harrisburg Area Community College and the Public Safety Center here, we've uh, dubbed it the Art of Firemanship. The program really started out, this was the brainchild of a couple of Harrisburg firefighters. It grew from, uh, you know, basically a napkin talk uh, into, into what we have today. Everybody from a one or two year firefighter to, to assistant chiefs and chiefs of department here training, getting the knowledge from the instructors that we were able to bring in from across the region as well as across the country, and bringing their knowledge, skills, and abilities here to teach to the folks that, that have uh, paid to come to our class. Greg Rhodes, assistant chief at Springbrook Volunteer Fire Company in Lackawanna County. We're about probably 15 miles north of Scranton. Whether you're an officer or just a fireman or a junior fireman, you come down here, enjoy the weekend, and you know, you. you whether you take one thing home or you take 20 things home, at least you're taking something back and it's beneficial to everybody back home in your department. So I'm Jonathan Relich. I'm from the Citizens Hose Company. Um, uh, we serve as a Smyrna fire company in Delaware. Uh, here for the training this weekend and uh, uh, been having a lot of fun. Today we're learning uh, about engine company operations, which is like the bread and butter, and it's uh, what everybody knows as the fire service. And then tomorrow we're going to have some living legends here and uh, get the opportunity to learn about some truck company operations or ladder company operations. A technical type things. Uh, so there's a, a class called man versus machine, which uh, you know we see a lot of rescue scenarios. They were uh, you know experimenting with taking rings off of fingers, and, and we see that a lot, with swollen fingers and things like that on medical calls. We were using meat grinders with chicken and uh, you know and simulating that being a person's hand, using uh, tools to, to help of, you know, folks that are impaled on the objects. Uh, so any of those rescue scenarios they were working on, they were working on, on hot work with torches and things like that that we don't do very often, so the training helps you hone those skills. Along with uh, putting the water on the fire comes a lot of things like ventilation and uh, getting in there and uh, opening up so that the engineman can find the uh, fires. The third station that we have today is actually going in, stretching lines, and putting them in place at the right place under uh, uh, fire conditions. So they're, they're actually going into the, the building with fire in it. Uh, high heat conditions because it, the building is, is set up for high heat conditions, just like it would be in, in a regular row home fire. Training is the backbone to the fire service. We have a job to do. Our job is to protect the citizens of, of our communities, whether it's Harrisburg, whether it's uh, York Area United Fire and Rescue here, who's here, whether it's uh, Quakertown, it doesn't matter where you're from, we all have the same job. And that, that job, you just can't jump into it. So we can, just can't take you from the street and put you inside of a burning building. The importance of training can't be overstressed. This job, the job that we have as firefighters, can and will kill people. And we need to put all the tools and all the safety in place for these folks ahead of time through training and through coming to events like this so that when they go out on, on an actual fire ground, they're protected and can help Mrs. Smith and they'll come home at the end of the day. I actually came down last year, we took three classes. We heard about it on Harrisburg's Facebook page. Uh, Squad 8, I believe, posted it. Uh, we, were, we were really interested in it then. We took three classes last year and that's what brought us back this year. Even though we're not through our second year yet, we're already projecting what we're gonna look like for uh, next year for a third year. Um, you know, bringing it. We have a great partnership with Harrisburg Area Community College, uh, and, and it's been a, a great uh, opportunity working with them. It's been good for the city, uh, for the college, and then uh, also for the region because all these folks that are here today are also staying in hotels uh, and eating here in our restaurants. So it, it's, it's bringing a lot of business into the city.